hi everyone so we have successfully created our table all right so this is the table and once again let me show you so uh, this was the you know the instruction which we executed and the table was created there all right and uh, we have here our table in aws if you refresh it you will see there the same name uh, the table with the same name contact we have there you can expand that click on this table so we have this contact table all right so in this contact table we are having name and uh, email and in the item we do not have here anything so it should be there a name and email let's go ahead and add a few items in our table so the first of all you have to write there a DynamoDB as soon as uh, sorry I hit the enter by mistake okay uh, keep in mind that we don't need to hit the enter so we have there AWS DynamoDB thereafter type there put item we and then hit the space and then we need to say that on which table we want to uh, put the item so the table name and uh, it says that we have table name a contact all right oops sorry I once again hit the enter all right so the table name is a contact there thereafter we can simply write their item all right so this is item and it says that what is item which we are going to put here and uh, in this we have to provide here a two uh, a two single quote all right so there is a single quote and inside the single quote we are going to provide a dictionary so in that dictionary we have to say that we have here a name and uh, in that name I have let's say Lakshmi Kant and uh, thereafter uh, once one, one more thing so this whole uh, this this whole dictionary is of course a dictionary whole data is a dictionary so there is name and I have to also mention here what type of this so do you remember we had uh, created it as a string so this is going to be a string type all right thereafter once you have it and uh, then name is there and then we want here email all right so this one is email and the type of email if you remember the type of email we had here a string all right and uh, there we are going to provide the email so i'm gonna say here let's say info then there is kgp dot com all right so we have got here emails etc and thereafter I'm gonna say here return all right so it's gonna say here a return uh, if you type there a return values otherwise I'm gonna say here return consumed capacity all right and in that I'm gonna say here a total that's mean it will also return us how much capacity read and write it has consumed with only this instruction let's go ahead and run it now once you run it it says that all right it should be running okay it says that unknown option there Lakshmi Khan then email let me see uh, I, I might have made I, I might have made some mistake here let me see what happening here I think uh, perhaps it's okay not a problem Oh, sorry so since we had used here a single uh, single quote so we have to make sure that there is double quote otherwise yeah, it will create a problem let's go ahead and run it oh sorry once again it says that parsing parameter item expected property name enclosed in double quotes etc etc well so it's a huge problem actually it's it's a json object so we have to put it in double quote instead of a single quote so that's the problem uh, working with the cli there is always problem 
let's go ahead and change it to a double quote there we have a double quote all right All right, now let's go ahead and run it. Everything should be okay now. It says that item has been successfully placed and it is written. Total capacity unit consumed is one unit. And if you refresh it, you should be able to see here name and email. All right, do you see there uh, in the item name and email? Yes, there is Lakshmi Khan and email is there. Uh, info at the rate KGP Toki. So with the same process, we can put here, you know, the many more item. Even if we run it once again, that's mean the two times, then you will be seeing here. Uh, this is uh, created here. I mean, it it should have been here two time. Let me see. If it is one time, that's mean it's overwritten actually. All right. So the previous information is overwritten there. Uh, what we can do uh, for a testing purpose, I'm going to just make that L in a capital letter. Let's go ahead and run it. Now we are going to see it here once again. In the item. So it says that now we have a two item here one with a small letter of L and there is a capital letter. So with the same, you know, with these commands, you can now store a data in your DynamoDB table. All right, perfect. So this is all about in this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching it. I'll see you next lesson.